like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Do baked beans, smoked mac and cheese, seasoned waffle fries, definitely some greens. Can you pull the extra butter in there for me? Yeah, and then I'm gonna do a punch of potato salad. Damn! What? I'm just trying to get my weight up. Gotta get your weight up, nigga, don't play around me. Everything I smash AP. Step up in the game, looking round, all eyes on me. I remember when I started low key. Homie, never play us. This rap shit is easy like a layup. Never stay down long, I'm way up. Riding in the whip with a chick whose name I can't pronounce. I just spin it, I ain't checking my. I told you so. Told you so. Told you so. I told you so. Oh, uh, didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all a long ass time ago that y'all are not being seen on the app. Salute to everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? I just had to tell y'all, because I was in the kitchen cooking. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the kitchen cooking. They can make a best of hitman on YouTube for 24 hours. In my master bedroom, got four showers. My, my kitchen don't got four showers. But I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get you far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Salute to all of the subscribers, the notification gang. We appreciate y'all. Uh, we're almost at 80,000. Subscribe to the channel if you respect the handle. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP. His recap, Ball for Ball Breakdown with Hitman Holla. If you haven't seen that, it's on the channel. We're going towards 50, 60,000 right now. You know what I'm saying? And we just been moving. You know what I'm saying? We've been dropping a lot more content recently because... I don't be wanting to bleed the feed sometimes, like drop four or five blogs a day, but you know what the people have been saying, and I, I'm never going to be that, I can't do four or five a day, but you know, two, three, and uh, people have been wanting to see the content, so we've been releasing it. Uh, I wanted to get his right number, it's actually at 62,000, Hitman Holler versus uh, Easy to Block Captain Bar for Bar Breakdown, so salute to SP. Uh, let's get into this, man. Now, it was cool when the top tiers say it. But when the bloggers were saying the same thing about this URL app and the lack of exposure for the MCs, we was tripping. We was bugging. But we on YouTube every day, you know what I'm saying? And people say all the time, oh, does YouTube drops really matter? I got comments and, you know what I'm saying, different people's replies and I'm going to read them off and I'll give you my personal opinion on them. But this all started with Jazz, right? She did an interview. With Harlem Legend TV and my man KWA, you know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. So um, they were speaking, and uh, she mentioned that there's fans who are at the Chrome 23 event who was asking her, when's the next time she's going to battle? Matter of fact, listen to the fellas. And um, me and Farrah was standing behind official, and I guess a girl, like, she was a fan of me and Farrah. She was like, oh, my God, when y'all going to rap again? And I was oh. like, <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Like, yeah, that's but that lets you know, like, there's people yeah, that yeah. have no idea that I even still battle rap. It's people that have no idea of my year that I had last year. Like, no idea. I let the Chrome 20. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. So they don't even know that she's battled like three, four times last year. They have no idea because a lot of her battles get stuck on the app. I told y'all the app is like the bubble bubble. I played in the bubble bubble. Easy was right. He did play in the bubble bubble. The general public does not know. Like if you approach 100 people in, in, a, in a general area, it's going to be like about 85 or 90 people who have no idea about the URL app, who don't know anything about it. These guys have no resume. I've been saying that. Your resume is included in the app that's paid for subscription. Now, is $7.99 a lot of money? It is not a lot of money. No, it is not. But... It shouldn't take bloggers and different people to complain about the content that's been coming out. Whole events being held back for months. Podcasts that nobody wants to see. Like, you see what I'm saying? No release schedule. Okay, they started doing a release schedule. I know, let me think, think, think. I know for a fact they're going to watch this. You know why? Because it's going to say URL app in the title. So they're going to watch this. But I've been saying this shit for months. The content on there is not very good. The battles on there are not very good. And what are you doing to retain subscriber base? And what are you doing to promote? You have a URL, you have a URL YouTube channel with a million subscribers. There's not even trailers and shit to lead people. There's no lead on. They're not even leading people to the app. So you got battles on there, right? 
because I got the app, so I could talk about it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have it for a period of time, but one of my peeps battled on there, and he was like, yo, I want you to see my battle, so I dropped it, you know what I'm saying? I copped the joint. You have Miss Hustle versus my verse, right? That just dropped, and the battle has 16,000 reactions and less than 250 votes. These people are big MCs. There is no reason why big MCs should be doing numbers like this. Like, why? This is like Miss Hustle is bigger than this. My verse returning on URL is bigger than this. This is not traffic. This is 16,000 reactions. I could do 16,000 views on this fucking video right here. What are these niggas doing, bro? Like, y'all tripping, man. Like, and the thing is, there's gonna be some people that's gonna embellish the fact that these artists are stuck in the bubble and make it seem like they're doing better, but bro, why does Miss Hustle vs. My Verse have less than 200 votes in a whole day? Bro, like, that's not, how is their career, what is their career gonna benefit from that? Somebody please jump inside these comments and, know, and let me know. And it's not just that. When I scroll down to other battles, Mac Myron vs. Fonz, that's a dope battle. That's 100, 100 votes to 200 votes. Uh, there's another battle on here. These niggas got 25 votes to 45 votes. Chilla Jones versus Chess has 78 to 400 votes. Chess is a big ass MC. You see what I'm saying? So this right here is not conducive to anything. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's not. It's not. I don't even be watching these joints. Like I, I, re, I used to recap heavy, heavy. I probably recap more at battles than anyone. That's the only reason why I can say what I'm saying because there's nobody else in the world that put more time into recapping these battles besides SP with me. That's done it. I've done it. I've seen it. I know what it's like. But I stopped doing it because it's like, what am I doing it for? Why am I recapping all these ad battles? I can't use the footage. If I put, if I screen record it or I record another one or record another one, they're going to take my video down. So I just said, fuck it. I don't even care. I got enough shit to deal with YouTube when I curse on there. Because, you know, a lot of people, they cleaned up their content. They don't curse and stuff like that. But fuck that. I'm going to say whatever I want. If they take the video down or don't pay me for it, I don't care. This is not about money. This is about a message. So Jazz explained... And a lot of her career, nobody's knowing about it. She said her battle with Elise Vixen or one of her battles should be on YouTube. And I definitely agree. These artists, at least one YouTube drop a year. Then the ones that they was dropping was not even good. That's why K-Shine got into it with URL. You're dropping the battles that niggas is getting smoked in. Like, why would you drop the battle that I lose clearly? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to drop something, drop something where I at least did good. Don't drop something that I'm going to get beat the fuck down in like that. I don't want that out. You're, you're, you're not hiding the right shit, boss. I got the voice, you know what I'm saying? It's that YouTube runner right here. But you hide, you, you letting out the wrong shit. Like, I would rather you let something out that I got that I did my thing in. So let's get to some of these uh, tweets, because, uh, you know, it was cool when they do it. Now everybody's appalled that a top tier artist did it. So I wanted to uh, read some of the um, tweets that have been going out about the violence online where everybody's talking about this whole app situation. And I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more, but. I really ain't got time. I got I literally, I got something to do. I got to take care of some shit with my son, and I'm going to work. I don't got time to look at through all these tweets all fucking day. So, uh, let's get to it. So, there we have uh, none other than Shotgun Shield saying, Does YouTube drops really matter, or does URL YouTube drops really matter? Some of you niggas got lit from the app and wasn't invited when you was on, when we was on YouTube. So, I want, I'm confused of the logic, but talk to me. I want to hear other points of views. Easy said, Ask your fans, when your last battle, who don't got the app, and that will answer your question, sir. It's a fact. Niggas who don't got the app don't know when Shotgun Shook battle last. They probably think his last battle was past that. Like, that's how far removed a lot of these fans be. And they're not even fans. A lot of them are casual fans. Like, they'll see your battle if it comes down on the YouTube timeline. I first saw Easy the Black Captain, who is probably the hottest name in battle rap right now. I don't give a fuck about what none of y'all niggas is talking about. I recap, I watch shit every day. I talk about this nigga, it's gonna do 10,000 views. I talk about you niggas, they might do three or 4,000 views. Niggas ain't here to do three or 4,000. We not here to be mid tier. So there be some people that be like, oh, yes, I should talk about the same thing, but this subject, but you, but you. nigga, I'm not here to do 3,000 views. Do I look like that? Do I look like a 3,000 view type nigga? Look at my channel, go up and down. We not here for that. So if I don't talk about shit that don't matter, you could go to another channel or go watch some sports highlights or some NFL highlights, because I'm gonna talk about what's popping. But anyway, uh, so he says that, right? So Shotgun Shug, you know what I'm saying? They go on, they, they having their conversation. So uh, I said, the app is the new vault. I should not have more views on YouTube, 45 million, than most battlers. I wouldn't be surprised if more battlers forced their way back to YouTube. I now really would not be surprised. Avery chimes in on Jazz Rapper's conversation and says, how long I've been telling y'all this? Like, nobody knows y'all, you know what I'm saying? So Easy says, for me, my status 
any YouTube drop matters. Of course, I was grinding on the come up, the views was low. But I just did a quarter million view battle with Big T on a channel that doesn't have many subscribers. It was about the person or how good the battle was. So, I've been seeing some people get flack about, oh, Easy the Black Captain vs. Big T only did 250,000 on the Battle Academy. The Battle Academy does not have 50,000 subscribers. This channel almost has 80. So, to mind you, this is a whole league that has a smaller channel. They're growing. Salute to Stairs Battle Academy. I fucks with them. I was just at their last event. I'll probably be at the next one. But the channel is small. So to do five times the views of the subscribers of that channel is a big thing. And Easy the Black Captain versus Big T has more has more views than all of the other battles on the card combined. I did the math. You can go do it too. I don't have to prove it. So that's one thing. So Jazz says. Star power has nothing to do with views. Star power is how you are on stage. You can have a star power with 100 views. I can agree with that. So uh, Rock gets involved and he says, Nitty said three YouTube drops helped him. He obviously won champion of the year. So I'm battling three or four times on my own league this year on top of my three or four on URL. You know what I mean? An easy response to that and says, let's do it bro, me versus you on your league. These artists have to understand that wanting more for yourself and your career does not make you a snake, does not make you a, a switch sider, does not make, wanting more for yourself because at the end of the day, you only hot as your last battle. I done seen niggas wait all the way to the top, get bodied once or twice and we never seen him again. Wavy got beat like once or twice, crazy, and you never seen him again. I've never, I haven't seen this man on URL in like three or four years and probably won't. That's one MC, I can name 10. That they lose like one or two battles, their stock drops a little bit, they get these niggas out of here. So I'll be saying, while you in the light, while you got the shine, while you got the attention, you got to do everything that you can do for your career because at the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck about you. When the car runs out of gas, these niggas is catching the Uber and on to the next MC. It's no knock on Smack, no knock on URL. They've done a lot for the battle rap culture. They helped a lot of people. Without URL, a lot of us wouldn't be here. Without URL, I don't work with these niggas, I don't work for these niggas, but what they put out has helped me build my own platform. And like I said, I got 45 million views. That's more than most battle rappers. You cannot talk that view shit to me. I got the Hitman views. I got up there, up there, up there, up there. There ain't 10 niggas breathing a dead that done this shit, what I do, and got the views that I got. I don't put that out there and I'm not really like, I'm better than this person or that person, but I'm just telling you, I've been here through the thick, through the thin, through when it's been good, through when it's been bad, and we still here. So, Verb says, I've been screaming to the top of my lungs since last year. Nobody knows y'all, and now y'all starting to see it. Y'all been invisible. And I said, they've been playing in the NBA bubble the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, niggas <laughs> actually had y'all thinking y'all was lit. You're not. I'm sorry. Nobody knows. Nobody. Nobody. I mean, niggas on this channel will watch it. In the comments of this video, tell me yes and no. Do you have the URL app? If you have the URL app, do you still have it? Are you still subscribed? Are you leery about it? Did you unsubscribe? They need to see that, because them niggas be in my comments. They ain't gonna tell you they be in there, but trust me, they read and they watch. Jump in the comments and let me know what your thoughts of the app are and what your thoughts are about the success or the unsuccess of the MCs on it. My, me having the app cannot be questioned. I just showed y'all Miss Hustle vs. My verse. And I got all this shit right here. Y'all niggas get my $7.99 or whatever it is a month. Am I satisfied with all the content that comes out? Fuck no, I ain't. It ain't that good, I'm gonna be honest with you. You put podcasts up, nobody cares about. You have battles up there that nobody cares about. The best battles, like Stumbles vs. Rock and all this other shit is being held in the vault. And you're just dragging us, dragging us, dragging us along. Like, I don't even remember the last time I... Let me see. What's the last app battle I recapped? DNA versus Calico. Yeah, yeah I, do. I recap DNA versus Calico and New Jersey's work versus Next. That was 18 days ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> and, I, and I seen that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being honest with y'all. Cause like the thing is, the people who are compromised or the people who get favors and you know, they put on lists and they get to be at all, they, they gonna say one thing. They gonna say the best thing. They're never gonna say the thing that's gonna make niggas not stop fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? But when you don't care, like when that stuff doesn't mean anything to you, I don't care if I never, 
I've been at like three or four events this year. I don't care if I don't get an invite to an event. I would rather be at home. Trust me, I don't spend no money. I ain't got to park nowhere. I ain't got to pay for no food. I ain't got to pay for no hotel. I ain't got to get no flight. I could watch every event from home. I just go outside because niggas be thinking they could play with you and say, oh, you scared. So that's why I've been to two, three, and I don't have to go. Like, if I don't go to another event for a whole year, who cares? So I don't need no favors. So I can say things how they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be like, yo, I just seen Miss Hustle vs. My Verse. Niggas got like 200 votes for the whole battle. They just said on Caffeine, remember when they said on Caffeine that her and she did like 4 million views or some crazy shit like that? I didn't even see the battle. I'm like, how did it do all these millions of views and I didn't even see it? I swear to God, I've never seen that battle. I still ain't seen it to this day. I'm, tr I'm having a hard time believing that me as one of the top, top, top niggas in blogging never seen that battle. But anyway, I'm gonna keep it moving. So here's Jazz's point. Jazz is basically saying that there's fans who don't know what she's doing, don't know her work. Now I'm not saying that URL needs to go to YouTube. They can do whatever they want. It's their personal business. If they don't want to do it and they just want the app, that's cool. But why block other people from going to, that's the shit, Beasley the block captain. I gotta ask you niggas. Why block other niggas from getting YouTube drops if you ain't letting niggas get YouTube? Y'all ain't concerned about you. If you're not concerned about it, see the thing is, Y'all concerned about niggas getting big and niggas blowing up. That's what y'all concerned. So when you keep people on the app, you can minimalize them because they can't lean on things like views. Easy vs. Hitman drops on YouTube, they're gonna do two, three million views. Believe that. They will. It, it, it's, 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 it's already handled. The numbers are in. When they do two, three million views, now when they come to you for the next battle, I just did three million, I just did two million. You could have those conversations. When you want to be in shows or you trying to show your resume and they saying link me to some of your work, I could get you this role, I could put you in position, they don't have nothing to link them to. You know what I'm saying? You think Hitman Holler, Conceited, Charlie Clip, you think all these niggas would have been on Wildin' Out without YouTube? <laughs> I'll answer it for you. Never mind. I gotta get drink some Voss. You know, that's that YouTube water. So anyway, I'm gonna keep going, man. I'm gonna keep it going. And then, you know, Verb is smart because Verb has now transitioned over into media. He's blogging. He's blogging every day. You know why? Because there's money in YouTube. If there was no bread here, if there was no audience, if there was no platform, why would an MC as legendary as motherfucking A... This is A-Verb. His guardian angel's ducking. He's still flying. A legendary MC. You can say whatever you want. I don't care. This is a legend right here. He's on YouTube every day. Why? Because people are watching. He has a voice. They will listen to what he's got to say. I ain't never fucking battle nobody. I mean, I beat Charlie Clips, but I ain't never really battle like that. So he knows that if he's stepping into the same lane to do the same thing and he could get a little screw, screw, he could, he could get busy on niggas. Like if he got to if he got to turn that grill on and fry you up, he know how to fry you up. And that's whoever he don't care. And I respect it. I respect his handle. I've seen I've met for more than once and I know I carry it. But a voice like his is needed because he's going to say what needs to be said. You don't have to like it. Like I said, this channel right here, you don't have to like what I do. They're watching for a reason, though. There's 10,000 views on damn near every video. for You know how hard it is to cut your camera on and 10,000 people watch every time you turn it on? And I don't got no artists here. I ain't got no league owners here. You know whenever you cut this camera on, there's never going to be a battle rapper sitting next to me. There's never going to be any of that. It's just going to be me and SP. They're watching for me. I'm the show. On the app. You niggas ain't the show. They not watching y'all. <laughs> you can't screen record. These niggas can't even use their own clip. They can't even use their own clips. The words that they rap out of their own mouth, they cannot put on fucking Instagram. That shit is getting taken down. I didn't tell you to put that up. You know how many artists I know that will put a clip of their own battle on YouTube and get it taken down? What in the hell do you niggas got going on? But you know what? I already knew I was right. From the beginning, I don't feel like it's conducive. I don't feel like it helps push any talent. I feel like all of these niggas is in the bubble. We'll watch when good battles come on. But I, I, I don't recap them anymore because I just don't, I don't care. I don't got the time, honestly. I really ain't got the time. I can utilize my time to talk about other shit. Like, not gonna be talking about battles that people are not gonna be seeing. That's just the way life goes. Um, is there anywhere, anything else about this, right? Like literally, they have battles with like 15 to 100 votes on them. I thought this app had thousands and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Why is there only 20 votes on certain battles? 40 votes. You know why? Because it's not interesting. Nobody cares. Um, so, Suge says, you can ask me that because my rum, my chef Trez, my Pat, 
Both my two on twos with twerk dropped on YouTube. I drop in both places though. Make a nigga like me make no difference. It makes difference. Yes, it does. Cause your past day battle was years ago. Your rum nitty battle was years ago. Your trez battle was years ago. Sure, I fucked with you, but you ain't got no recent work. You gotta get your resume updated too. Sorry. Nah, I can't cut no corners or pull no punches. I love what you do, but that run you had would have been a little bit more prettier if some of them battles would have been on the two. Nitty just said he won because he was on the two three to four times a year. Rock and Easy are talking about potentially battling each other on their own. Why? To get it on YouTube. The world needs to see y'all. And there's nobody that's gonna tell me any different. Because guess what? If I don't recap the battles on the app, or if other big platforms don't recap the battles on the app, nobody's gonna see them. I'm sorry, you know? The league should be, when y'all, you know, cause they was just, li <laughs> there was literally a controversy a couple weeks ago saying that, I don't know if this is true, I really don't. I have nothing to do with it saying that niggas was getting off of money to not talk about leagues. Y'all need to offer niggas some money or offer niggas some shit to talk about your app, to talk, to promote your battles. I know you niggas is cheap. Never made no money with y'all, which is fine. I make my own money now, here. And I pay people too that work with me. So I'm good, I don't need nothing for you. But maybe y'all should try to find a way to get niggas to promote it or, or maybe even you ask them to use some of their content. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe instead of you should put some podcasts or some blogs on there of the actual media doing predictions and shit like that. Maybe y'all should do that. Not just the niggas that y'all got with, you know what I'm saying? You, maybe you should reach out to some other people. I'm good, I'm on YouTube, but I'm just trying to help you. Maybe y'all should have some more band battles that nobody knows about. Maybe y'all should have some barbershop. Maybe y'all should have some battles that people will come there to see. When Twerk battled chess, that was a fire battle. It came out on YouTube. Before battles used to come out on the app, then like six to eight months later, they'll come out on YouTube. Now everything is on the app and nobody sees it. And since niggas like myself ain't recapping them, I mean, I'm gonna recap with something's hot. Like if something's hot, Slade and paperwork with Rod, you know what I'm saying? Something that's a good subject that niggas is gonna wanna see, or Twerk doing really good against Next, or Calico getting bodied by DNA. I already kept that. But this day to day shit, nah, man, I'm good. Y'all gotta find somebody else to do that shit. But, uh, yeah, so Jazz spoke about it. Now everybody's in the roll. Now y'all appalled. Now y'all appalled. Y'all are appalled that an MC did it. But when the bloggers do it, we hating. Uh, I'm just gonna let y'all know, you know, Easy showed y'all the way out. App lives do matter. I hope y'all niggas take some more control in y'all career because I'm sure some of y'all are. I would hope so after seeing the run that this nigga just had. Nigga was on fucking J. Nigga was on um, Joe Bun podcast twice in one week. Do you think the app would have got him there? I'm going to just stop. One. And I'm going to do baked beans, smoked mac and cheese, seasoned waffle fries, definitely some greens. Can you put a little extra butter in there for me? Yeah, and then I'm going to do a country table salad. Damn. What? I'm trying to get my weight up. Gotta get your weight up. Nigga, don't play around me. Everything I smash AP. Step up in the game, looking around, all eyes on me. I remember when I started low key. Homie, never play up. This rap shit is easy like a layup. Never stay down long, I'm way up. Riding in the whip with a chick whose name I can't pronounce. I just spend it, I ain't checking my 